Okay, thank you for joining me for some live coding. As we are continuing our LCD display for our live coding exercise, we are still trying to get the digit or the uh, display of 10. Clearly still a broken test. Ooh. I mean, yay. Anyway, uh, last time we realized a mistake where we were adding one to one instead of zero to one. So we have recorrect, we have corrected that. And now we are going, uh, we're, we're not getting a correct display, which is kind of expected. So we're going to look at, I mean, kind of should step through this and see what's going on. So let's do that. We're going to debug this test and see what is happening. See what our index is, is what the result looks like. So result right now looks like a one. It's our one. Okay, cool. Our index is three. So in our result, zero. So we want three. I don't know if we want three. Let's go ahead and step over, see where it adds it. Because it may be minus one. Nope, that, uh, that is the correct position. Okay, cool. So we're going to step over to this. Next index is six. Sounds reasonable. It's at the end of the line. This is actually not reasonable. It's at the end of the line. That is a problem because this index is actually at the end of the first line. So that's the problem with this index condition. So we found the problem. Is our new line actually needs uh, an offset? Not just um, yeah, not not just the length. I mean, three might be off. It's six starting at six, so it might find it there. But let's see. Let us see. It might need to be plus four. That I'm not sure on. Hey, which is why we run these. And yes, I could write little tests to verify all this for me. Uh, step over, step over. What is index? Index is, I don't want it to be six. I don't want it to be six, so I need to be plus four. Which is really the size of the line. Close into a variable, three occurrences. Uh, let's replace one occurrence because I don't really want that. Um, oh, down below. Uh, int. We're going to call this the size of the line. We're going to make it const. Okay. And we're going to put it up here. So this just reads a little bit better. A little bit clearer. Should set us up so that we are failing less badly. Go ahead and see what's happening here. So, I mean, like, th this is what I do. This is live coding. I've never done this problem before, first time. And yeah, there are a uh, little bit of hiccups going on here. All right, so index is three. Yeah, my screen is kind of noisy at this point. Results fine. Let's go ahead and Step over. Really, I'm curious what this index is. 11. That's pretty much where I expected it to be. Let's see what we look like. We got the dash. So I kind of expect us to end up with pipe space pipe here. So let's see what happens as we step over that. Result. When we look at it, it now has the pipe space pipe. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, one thing I'm curious about, I'm going to scroll up to the very, very top, is... Um, when we do 9, 10, okay, it does expect spaces. So I don't have that yet. So that is, actually, I don't even have that in my test. So, but let's go ahead and uh, step over again. This should be something like minus 1, okay. So it's inserting the wrong spot there because we don't have a end of line, which is expected. 
but we gotta uh, do one thing first. We are expecting spaces between the digits, which we don't have. So we are going to insert space. Space. <clears throat> and really, we want this to be a result. Uh, not even insert, it's independent. We'll just plus equals this right on to the end. So, maybe similar. Maybe not. It gets iffy. And it's an offset. So we know that. But it's an offset that uh, clearly isn't working yet. Okay, what are you? Oh, you yeah. combine these. Oh, yeah, let's go and look at this. Ooh, we got too far. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice that uh, these string ordinals were chilling off the edge of the screen there. Go ahead and run this. Let's see what's going on. Why are we not getting what we expect? Index is 3. That's expected. Let's go and step over that. Index is seven. I don't think that's what I expected. Yeah, yeah, seven, seven is wrong. Index of seven is wrong. So that's just going to insert there again. Step over that. Look at the result here. Yeah, so I just inserted it. It went to the wrong spot. So we got kind of an off by one error here. Um, rename, this. It's you know what? Um, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. It's kind of the uh, next line search. We'll figure out a better name later. Ooh, hey, there we go. Check it out. Boop, green. It worked. It worked. Fabulous. Now, I'm going to take out the ordinals just to save a little bit of space. I'm going to rename this to uh, next search so that when I take out my ordinal, it stays within my screen. And because I want to get rid of the squigglies, I'm going to disable it once with a comment at the top of the file. So now we have something nice. We know that uh, we know that brain freeze. Okay, so we know a pattern that worked for two digits. I suspect this is going to work for three digits. Just do this and then do it again, right? Um, yeah, yeah, do it and do it again. That's a great way to look at it. Huh, so, I mean, we could actually just update the, uh, where we start the index instead of plus next search, just do a index of new line. So this is just a thought. So we could actually Do it is really weird. It doesn't work. It does not work. Plus one. All right. So if I plus one, it don't work. So basically, 
we added some stuff to find the new new line and then do it again. Uh, that's really weird. I don't like that. I mean, I, I, I could do it as next offset, but I, I don't like it. It feels way too strange for me. It's not clear. Let's go ahead and do, pull this into a field. Let's call it, pull into a variable and call it screen index. Fabulous, exactly what I was thinking. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that breakpoint for now. Get rid of this breakpoint for now. Okay, so we have stuff. It works. We now have a multi-digit working. And I think this is a great point to stop. All green, all ready to refactor next time. All right, um, so until next time, thank you for listening.